The Sun Also Rises was written in Ernest Hemingway's trademark, simple, straightforward style. But it's densely packed with profoundly meaningful themes. The effects of war and disillusionment, masculinity, and escapism. The protagonist Jake's generation, veterans and civilians alike, struggled to find meaning after the devastating events of World War I. Jake, Brett, and Mike were actively involved in the war and emerged disillusioned from their experiences. Many young people joined the war as an act of patriotism, believing their sacrifices would mean something. But their experience was the opposite. They braved the battlefield only to be slaughtered by machine guns or killed by poison gas. Most of those who made it home did not keep their idealism intact. The war destroyed many people's notions of morality and religion, forcing them to look elsewhere for guidance. Many in this lost generation, represented by the main characters of the novel, turned to carnal desires, food, sex, alcohol, to fill the void inside. World War I also applies to the theme of masculinity. In the face of the war's indiscriminate violence, strength, courage, and grit counted for little and left many of the men who fought in it feeling emasculated and empty. Surviving the brutal war was not a sign of heroism or strength. It was simply a matter of luck. Jake bears this emasculation physically as well as emotionally. His war injury makes sex, and therefore a full-fledged relationship with Brett, an impossibility. Jake claims not to be bothered too much by the injury, but his heavy drinking and obsession with masculine sports, such as boxing and bullfighting, suggest otherwise. Jake's friends similarly hide their insecurities and hurt egos by drinking heavily, chasing sex, and watching violent sports. Additionally, Mike is broke, Bill may be gay, and Cone is lovesick and Jewish, which the other men, all anti-Semitic, view as a mark of inferiority. Each is emasculated in his own way. The most traditionally masculine character in the novel is Pedro Romero, the 19-year-old bullfighter. Brett also exemplifies masculinity in the way she dresses and how she uses and discards the men in her life. Escapism is the final theme. To cope with or cover up their disillusionment after the war, the characters escape, literally and figuratively, living as expatriates, having left their home countries to search for meaning elsewhere. Paris is now their home base, but they also travel to Spain. Neither place seems to bring them much pleasure. They especially escape from alcohol, drinking excessively, which often leads to blackouts or fights. No one wants to speak openly about what they feel, so they bury their emotions at the bottom of a bottle. Brett uses romantic relationships to escape too. She is regularly swept into romantic images of a relationship with Jake, Mike, Cohn, and Romero, moving from man to man as she desires. But she has no interest in committing to anyone. In this way, the theme of escapism divides between genders. The men escape the horrors of war and the gender expectation of heroism. Likewise, Brett escapes the gender expectation of diffidence and domestic bliss for women. 